Oh, shit, wait. <gasps> oh, this is the album we're listening to? Okay, guys, so recently I, um... Because, like, I put one of these songs on the, um... What is it? The, the weekly highlight, right? Or the monthly highlight. Um, and I enjoyed it a lot. Wait. I'll be completely honest with you. I didn't even realize or remember that this is your album. I really enjoy that song. I completely forgot that this is actually your music. That makes it even more impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, this is exciting, okay? Do you even understand what that means? All right, we're, what we're about to listen to, I'm super excited because, again, I, I love the one song I heard. All right, this is Triangle Cube, someone who constantly sends in music from the 30s and 20s, 30s, like just really old, interesting stuff. And they actually managed to make music themselves that I feel like, at least from what I've heard, has been really ear-grabbing and uh, exciting to listen to and very calming and meditative where you can hear the inspirations, but uh, they just work extremely well in their own right. Um, so with that, yeah, I, I can't wait for this. Zom doesn't technically release until tomorrow, but since you aren't going to be around, here's a little sneak preview. If anyone likes what they hear, please consider buying a tape uh, or CD off a of band camp. It's the only way indie musicians make money. That is true. That being said, I only have a link to one song. How am I doing this? Sent in $365. Reed Coleman's last? Yeah, I was going to say. Um, where's Coleman? Got... Uh, I forgot the queue doesn't accept playlists. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, shit, how are we going to do this? I got an idea. Kevin, I am, uh, I'm moderating you as a standard moderator. That means you're going to be allowed to post a link. You post the link here. I click on it. I remove your moderator. It's that simple. Do it like that. Don't get excited. I'm removing your mod as soon as you post the link. All right, get the fuck out of here. All right, so there's three songs here. Um, wow, this, these song lengths are insane. Um, there's three tracks. One is 14 and a half minutes, and another is 18 and a half minutes. Um, so, yeah, there's only three songs, but they are uh, they're some beefy-ass tracks. So I'm hoping for some remarkable vibes here. Um, let's, see, let's get this set up here that right sweet all right you guys ready to vibe i'm ready to vibe here we go first song here mammoth american uh, americanum I, I think is this the one i already heard I believe so right yeah, it's the one i put on the uh something thing Saying, you ain't gonna hear no shit like this on the Hive Mind channel, okay? All you're gonna hear is the worst music that's ever existed. That's why you come here, okay? <laughs> No, his streams are great too. Got the whole machine TV.
See, the, the sound is so rich that I'm afraid I'm going to get fat just listening to this music. Like I'm on the edge of a creek, it's dusk, the fireflies have just started flying around, and Paul Paul came back after spending all day fishing. Wow, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I'm kidding, that's actually really cool. <laughs> Say it's over already. I went by quicker than. Oh, Shooting at ops kind of vibe. Spinning the block, shooting at ops kind of vibe. Bro. What are your ops swamp gators? is open. No, they really are. Throw on the fiddle. Oh. Yeah, I said this fiddle's so dank, it's like I got stuff left in the tank. When it comes to rhyming from my memory bank, I'm in the club. I'm throwing out ones, and I'm so sad because I just ran out of funds, and I maxed out my card, and my dick is so hard. I'm like, damn, girl, hold up. I've got to go to the yard and get more money. Thanks. Based on a true story. What's up? Oh yeah, that's right, Dre Rock. Aren't you like multi instrumentalist yourself? Oh shit, it's got the boom boom boom. boom.
Yeah, so that song was seven and a half minutes, and I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. Again, it's not my first time hearing this song, and I still love it as much as when I first heard it. I do think that this has an extremely memorable melody. Um, yeah, I'm in between an eight and a nine. I, I, I really love this shit, man. I mean, this is fantastic. It's not, like, again, I feel like I said this before, but I feel like you capture your influences really well. Um, and still managed to bring your own style to the point of where I literally forgot this was, like, artist submitted at some point. You know what I mean? Like, in my opinion, that means what you're doing, you're d you're on the right path right now. Like, you're, you're creating some really fantastic shit. And I'm hoping to see it continue. So, yeah, great track. Absolutely fantastic. Next song, Truckers to Pulaski. <laughs> We the best music. Hell yeah, D. Kelly. No. gonna turn into a tool song Artists submitted too. Oh yeah, we're back with the bench. They ain't want to see us winning, you know? They want to see us crying on the floor.
Grace, just say that this reminds me of Velvet Underground a little. Like the song Heroin. I'm afraid it's a basic take. She's kind of magical right now, I'm gonna lie.
like the last seven minutes of this song it just felt weirdly transported to like like what I'm looking for. The worldly, I guess. I go to bed, I napped all day. Shut the fuck up. You see, I'm listening to emotional music. Exporting overnight, bro. I've been there. The worst. <sighs> he does have a band camp. Like here. Any of the mods has it. You now, don't be greedy. Share with the whole class. I kind of understand that, that the feeling of anxiety throughout the whole day. There is something very liberating and you know, surprisingly real about this. So, in my opinion, this song is crazy. Um, I think that it kind of catapults immediately and gives somewhat the wrong idea off the bat. I think it is so abrasive and intense starting off that it is like, I don't know, it, it felt like I was pushed away from it and kind of had a bad feeling about the rest of the track, and especially with how stripped back this thing is. Um, it did feel like it, it really takes time to envelop. Now, I think that this is one of those songs, though, that is so focused on emotional transparency and just speaking through the music, through the instrument. Um, and it doesn't really need much else. I feel like it takes an entirely extra level of knowledge of this shit to even be able to try to like expand upon it emotionally through external sources without you know making it sound too tacky or cheesy and i feel like the way that you went about it you heard it you were like yeah this this speaks to me this is me and i'm speaking through the instrument and i and i do appreciate it for that um yeah, I think it's great. I, I still do think the previous song is a bit easier of a pill to digest. And, you know, while this is like an a, emotional opus, I do personally prefer the previous track, but I still think that this is an extremely impressive showing. And overall, I'll give it an 8. Next song is even longer. Imaginary Conversations on Fitch, uh, Fish Hatchery Road. Thank you, Brandon. Hey, thank you, Cole. Here's your camera.
song sounds like winter. Like, distinctly like winter. This drum machine is cool. take many people many places you know the club could just be a manifestation of you know mentally where you want to be transported in the moment
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You hear that shit? Sometimes it, it's just like, I don't know, man. It's like I, you hear some of the songs sent in on stream. You know what I mean? I, I rarely ever expect chat to like come through, you know, like at all in any regard. I expect you guys to fail at everything you do. So when I'm proven wrong, you know, there's something special to it. Thanks, Brad. I wasn't saying anything to you. I wasn't trying to be nice. Sorry you interpreted it that way. Way to cap it off, bro. We still got 10 minutes of this song left. Yes, it is technically Tuesday, you're right. Which would, that means you're a liar. <laughs> yes, yes, you got This, bro, this makes me never want to touch another instrument again. How much work goes into this shit? like too much facts you guys can handle. Imagine accepting the truth. Thank you. 
chat isn't just a bunch of talentless losers after all. You know, maybe I had the wrong idea about you.
Not quite my tempo. Do it again. Not quite my tempo. That's my that's my entire review of the song. Felt like a journey. Here's the thing. What I just heard is something that I feel like takes either someone who has a ridiculous sense of their own feelings as a journey that they want to explore and need to share or somebody who's been doing this for an unbelievably long amount of time. The combination of, of sounds here is remarkable. Is for 18 and a half minutes. Genuinely, I never wanted that to end. Yeah, that was really an accomplishment. Like, genuinely. I, I feel like, while the previous song is emotionally impressive, I feel like this final song is a brilliant odyssey to close things off. Um, I mean, I, yeah. I'm feeling... Yeah, I think you should be very proud of what you've created because I, I feel like this connects on such a instantaneous and universal level. Um, I love that. Yeah, I thought it was amazing. Like, honestly. Um, as a whole, though, how is this project? How does it all work together? In my opinion, it works pretty damn well. I, I don't think that it's perfect. I do think that second song maybe is a bit of a meandering, but I also realistically think that the first and final track allow that second track to exist um, as just this emotional meditation. Um, that I think fills the space really nicely when you kind of just, like, put it all together. Yeah, this thing works remarkably well as a full experience. And to be honest, I think you completely knocked it out of the park. Um, yeah, well, I loved that first song you sent in. I am amazed at how well this experience came together. Um, I think it's something to be just so incredibly proud of. Uh, I'd overall give it an 8 plus to a 9 minus. Let's check it out on Bandcamp. Jesus. Wow. Damn. Yeah, it's on album of the year, too. Tell you what, I'm going to take a short break. I'm even going to write a little bit of a review for this. Um. Yeah. All right. I'll be back in uh, a couple of minutes. I'll put on the good playlist. I know I keep saying that and putting on the bad playlist. I feel bad.